Welcome back, 642 now on Daybreak. And, you know, we love celebrating the people who make Buffalo and Western New York a better place to live. And that includes a husband and wife from Clarence who are both Air Force veterans and are still on a mission. They want to help fellow vets suffering from the mental trauma of war, having it experienced it themselves. Cindy and Chad Miller are without a doubt some of the selfless among us. We were married in 2011. We say our honeymoon was to Afghanistan because we got married and then deployed two, three months later. Cindy Miller served two tours of duty as a medic. Her husband, Chad, a tech sergeant, deployed five times. And now in their mid-30s, they're busy parents of three and Air Force veterans who share the same passion, helping fellow vets get the mental health care they desperately need depression, a lot of anxiety, a lot of suicidal ideation in veterans. Um, 22 veterans are ending their lives every day, which is awful and needs to stop. So Cindy, a behavioral health nurse practitioner, opened her own private practice in Williamsville called Strong Minds. Any veteran who walks through the door, regardless of their ability to pay, will be able to get help from someone who can relate. There's this huge shortage of providers who have any sort of military experience. Nobody can relate to that unless they've really lived that. Let me help you because I've been there, I can relate, and I have the ability to help. As for Chad, he admits he needed that help himself. It was a constant barrage of mortars and rockets for, for months at a time. And then you go from high anxiety deployment back home, trying to adjust and struggling adjusting. and. 2019 actually came out and admitted to attempting to take my own life back in 2009 and again in 2018 where I was in a low spot where my mind was suffering with suicidal ideations and stuff and being vulnerable is not a weakness and we're starting to see that as people open up and they understand that like talking about things and moving forward is the way to go. Chad is moving forward by sharing his story and pushing his body. He's getting ready to row 3,000 miles in a race across the Atlantic with three of his Air Force comrades on the fight or die team. Chad says the nearly two month long mission is going beyond just raising money and awareness of veterans mental health. It's to inspire vets to find their purpose. Yes, you did a lot of good things. Don't ever lose sight of that. But that was before. What are you doing now? What Chad is doing now, in addition to training for the race, is staying at home with his three kids, volunteering with several veterans organizations, and entering his second year of nursing school to specialize in veterans' mental health care, just like Cindy does. A selfless couple sacrificing so much to support fellow veterans and each other. Our relationship, there's no way that we could be any stronger because we've gone through war together. Yeah. Really such wow. an amazing couple. And if you'd like more info about the veterans mental health care services that Cindy provides or more about the race across the Atlantic that Chad is prepping for that happens in December, you can find links to those when you click on the story on our website. Yeah, there are so many great people doing so much good work when it comes to veteran services, but obviously, there is a greater need. So. And Cindy's providing it for sure.